Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we have another unboxing, and this time it's Federali Espresso, <laughs> FedEx shipping. And by the way, uh, if you want to send me something uh, and you decided to send me something, please, please do not use FedEx because import fees and stuff like that just ship it through regular mail and all will be good uh, so today i have um my spudical cricket and this knife this little puppy here is just made for stuff like this for opening boxes for just i love the blade shape uh it's super sharp vg10 st steel uh and this little he guy here will cut uh, through anything so check this all i am using is just a little this here and just shreds i i learned to be more careful when i do this stuff because uh i tend to cut the stuff inside what's inside so i'm gonna get this out and uh, today we are gonna unbox stuff for you I hope you guys like like this unboxing videos because I having really a uh, hard time uh, to be patient and set it all up for you so you can see it and uh, and this package was ripped open ripped through uh, with the by the, my customs uh, local customs office and uh, they didn't bought uh, the declared value the declared value was 40 bucks and they didn't bought that uh, and uh, the other day I had a, a watch shipped to me through regular mail and it slipped through without paying anything and this one uh, this one went out so uh, yeah we can see that the customs uh, officer already had the pleasure of checking this out and uh, yeah but uh, it's first time for me and I'm just having a hard time to f be patient with stuff like this because uh, I want to open it, want to see it for myself and you can see this is AV8, AV8 uh, time instruments and um, the deal is uh, I was contacted by, by this company they wanted to send me a watch uh, for review uh, and my default answer like I said the, the other day is always no but uh, sometimes I have a soft spot for some of the watches and my uh, biggest uh, issue is design and when I see some cool inspired designs I will definitely uh, accept that I, I I get a lot of emails these days uh, and uh, basically those are all the companies that uh, make watches uh, which look like Rolex of Mariner uh, whether they are court moments and uh, basically uh, there are lots and lots of Rolex of Mariner homage brands and uh, to most of them I say no but when I see some original design and something I like I like what I see uh, I will take it so this is AV8 uh, and I believe this, wa this watch was sent to several other watch channels so uh, you can check them out as well uh, Aaron Dunlap and uh, I don't know watches galore and guys like that so uh, for review I'm just gonna unbox it for you uh, I like the box it's kind of military team uh, and these are all pilots aviation stuff uh, and I like their designs so that's why uh, I'm, a, I'm a visual guy I like cards uh, I was always good at that stuff and uh, this is a box like a military uh, military and here you can see the watch uh, and it's all blacked out <laughs> uh, I was kind of hoping to get uh, one that's not all blacked out uh, they, they have some cool designs on their website so I'm gonna just take that all out uh, and here we have I believe we have a little nylon uh, 
Well, I'm gonna remove it later on, the protective nylon, uh, but uh, I got an all blacked out watch. I was kind of hoping for something more with, with some with more color, uh, because the stuff I saw on the website had a lot more color than this one. Uh, and let me just check this out. This is a quartz, uh, like a pilot's watch, uh, and uh, here we go. Here you go. I like this. I like this feeling. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you can see. I just want to give you a little wrist shot. Uh, so this was sent to me. I didn't pay for this. So, by all means, guys, uh, you don't have to go and buy this stuff. Uh, just if you if you like what you see, go on the website and check see for yourself. I like this one. I like this design, but it's kind of all black. Uh, uh, but it looks pretty handsome on my wrist. What do you say, guys? Uh, I like pilots watches, and this one kind of reminds me of. Uh, this has a little sub dials with the pilot's gauges and stuff like that. Reminds me of a pilot cockpit, and it's a it's a cool design which I really like. Uh, I don't mind a good quartz watch, uh, but it has it has to have a cool design. This this band, I forgot to <laughs> forgot to remove the rubber. Uh, uh, let me just give you a closer look. Okay, I hope this is close enough for you. Uh, before giving a closer look, I took it out and checked it for myself a little bit. I really like the band, really impressed by the band. It's super sturdy, uh, real leather, um, very nice. And the watch is also uh, really interesting, but I was, I was kind of hoping to get a green one. So. But nevertheless, you can see the. I want to show you this uh, gauges here, counters, and the dial is not just a plain black. It has some kind of a texture, uh, and uh, it truly really does look like a pilot's watch. Uh, and this is a chronograph, and uh, chronograph hand is on this little sub dial here, and uh, and. Uh, the main one is up there. I prefer the other way around, but uh, it's all, it, it is what it is. Uh, it has a signed crown, it's super cool crown, uh, and the case back screw down crown. Uh, the, uh, actually, the crown is not screwed down, but the case back is. But I like this little details here, uh, and this is a really cool blacked out watch in case you need. I don't know, uh, I don't. I think it's necessarily for uh, collector's piece, but it's a cool quartz beater. Uh, so yeah, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wear this watch uh, alongside with my other watches, uh, put it in a rotation, uh, and uh, gather some thoughts, because I don't wanna do reviews right off the box. Uh, I don't think that's, I, I showed you enough, uh, but I wanna put it to test, to use, uh, to see uh, what other people think, what I think, because sometimes the initial impressions is different, because the last one I got, the ballast uh, initial impression was Oh, wow, uh, and I even compared to my Tissot de Locle, uh, and I said that that I like the Tissot de Locle better. But uh, after a couple of days of wearing, uh, I do like Tissot more. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad watch, but I'm saying that um, before doing a proper review, I think that everyone should uh, wear the watch uh, for 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 as long as possible, but at least one week, I prefer to. Uh, and uh, in that time, you live with the watch and you learn a lot more about it than just straight off the box review. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. It's kind of cool blacked out, but I think it could use some color. Uh, I, because I, I, will go, I went to the website and saw a lot of colors out there, so uh, you can check it out. I will put, uh, the least I can do is to put a link in the description box so you can check their other watches. 
and uh, that's it for me from me for now uh, do let me know if you like this unboxing videos uh, uh, I will try to see what, what I can do more uh, and I'm a DC gunner a little bit of a wrist shot let me just show you this uh, this one is a better size than the, uh, the other one I got um, but it's super cool on the wrist uh, and uh, a little bit of a wrist shot uh, that's it for me for now I'm gonna wrap this up and uh, tell me what you think uh, do you have an experience with these watches and uh, give me a thumbs up if you will so cheers